Whatever it does, Saudi Arabia seems to enjoy the solid support of its allies like Britain. But outside its embassy in London, these regular protests aim to remind those inside that their actions are being watched closely by the world. We are here to demonstrate against the sentence to uh, al-Namr, the Sheikh, who was uh, uh, given a death sentence in Saudi Arabia just for raising his voice for the human rights and for the rights of the citizens of Saudi Arabia. Sheikh Nimr al Nimr is a senior Saudi Arabian and Shia cleric. He was shot and arrested by Saudi security forces in July last year. Protests erupted and they still continue today despite a blanket ban by authorities. Last month, local media reported that a Saudi prosecutor has demanded the death penalty by crucifixion for the cleric. The regime accuses him of aiding terrorists and instigating unrest, a claim called laughable by demonstrators who say it is Saudi Arabia that's instigating unrest across the region. Saudi Arabia has achieved the position openly of becoming the center of gravity of all the religious back terrorism, sectarianism and other in, in, in the Muslim countries. And uh, they, are, they have increased the level of terrorism, like they're involved in Bahrain, they're involved in Syria, they're involved in the other parts of Saudi Arabia itself against their own citizens. So we need to stop them in the west, in the east, in north, south, everywhere. Also in attendance were protesters from Pakistan and Bahrain, who say they have also seen the devastation that Saudi policy has inflicted on their countries. Targeted Shia killings in Pakistan are intensifying, and the Saudi military helped Bahrain crack down on its own people. We are here in solidarity with Sheikh Nimr, who support the uh, Bahrain revolution. Saudi Arabia attacked Bahrain and demolished uh, mosques, burned Quran. So he supports the people everywhere, and especially in Bahrain and Saudi Arabia. That's why we want to save his life, because Saudi government want to hang him, to punish him, to kill him. It's this kind of solidarity that is growing across the world, and not just in Arab countries, even here in Britain, where the message is clear. What's your message to the Saudi Arabian monarchy? You will fall one day. Demonstrators say that because Britain props up the Saudi Arabian monarchy and tries to give it legitimacy, it's important that protest here continues to make it clear there's no corner in the world where atrocities carried out by the Saudi Arabian regime will be whitewashed or hidden. Nagas Mobalevi, Press TV, London.